Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to the three keys to unlocking your quantum powers with Dr. Gene Houston. Uh, my name is James Roche and I'm actually your host here for this event which is brought to you by Evolving Wisdom. And Evolving Wisdom is today's fastest growing global e-learning community specializing in transformative education. We're very excited to have you here and to have Gene Houston here today. Um, it's going to be a fantastic event, and I, I'm really excited to be presenting to you Gene Houston with some very exciting new information that she's going to be sharing with you. And I want to first give a big warm welcome to all of you who are joining us right now. I think there's a lot of people actually who are coming to us for the very first time. They've never gone to an Evolving Wisdom event before. So to those of you, welcome. I, I hope you have a wonderful experience here. I think many others have participated with Evolving Wisdom in the past. A big warm welcome to all of you as well. We have a very special event planned for you for this presentation. And I know Evolving Wisdom actually in the last several years has communicated with over a million people in all 196 countries. And they've participated in online communities, the free seminars, the programs, and the live events. So we're excited to have you here today. Evolving Wisdom is dedicated to bringing you the very best thought leaders and teachers and giving you the tools and the training that you need to really step into your fullest human potential. And actually, Gene Houston is one of our founding faculty here. And we're excited today because she's going to be sharing what promises to be the most significant and impactful information that she's ever shared in all of her decades of teaching. So before I introduce Jean, let me just make sure everyone has a minute to get together here. We have a lot of people joining us from all over the globe. I see a lot of people coming into the line right now. Welcome to all of you. Now, let me tell you about this incredible person we are here with today, Dr. Jean Houston. Uh, what you may already know about her is she is the author of 27 books, with, including several bestsellers, including A Mythic Life and The Possible Human. She's also been a long-term advisor to the United Nations agencies in human and cultural development. And Jean has also been an advisor to President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, as well as helping Hillary write her best-selling book, It Takes a Village to Raise a Child. Now, what's really interesting is what you may not know about Jean Houston. She has so many wonderful stories, and I know she's going to share a lot of those with us today. But let me just share a little bit of, of some interesting information about Jean here. Um, John Lennon actually was a huge fan of Jean Houston. And he read her book called Mind Games and was so inspired by it that he then not only wrote the song called Mind Games, but he did his whole third album, which is called Mind Games, completely inspired by the ideas and the, the transformations that Jean was sharing in her book. Another point of interest is that she recently spoke in front of British Parliament about the importance of women in helping create the possibility of 100 years of peace. And finally, Jean is actually an amazing cook, and we think that it's the Sicilian diet that keeps her looking so young. So hello, Jean, and welcome. Well, thank you so much for that extremely kind and overly generous introduction. I'm so glad to be with you here today, Jean, as I know a lot of people are. So let's dive right in. There's a lot of people joining us from around the world here today, from all corners of the world. Um, can you share a little bit about what, who this seminar is especially for? You know, I got a letter this morning from someone who says, said to me, I feel like a wild horse trapped in a corral and I've lost my passion, can you help me? <laughs> and I was just thinking, you know, this, this probably describes a lot of people who feel their life so potent and fertile within them, and yet nothing much has happened except same old, same old business as usual, managing everyday affairs, taking care of others, maybe your spouse, aging parent, or even uh, is becoming more and more likely the, the, your adult child who has come home because he or she can't find a job. Uh, you might be at a crossroads, yearning, yearning for something more, feeling a call. Or it's like the, the hound of heaven going, ruff, 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 you know, at your feet in the morning. Come on, get on with it. And you say, get on with what? I'm ready for it. I really am. And you feel called for the larger life, the larger life that allows you to express the full range of your humanity, not just your 
creative gifts, but your emotional gifts, the, the, the inventions that are blooming inside of you because you are the universe in microcosm. And the universe is saying, look, we've been going on for 15.7 billion years and it has resulted in your life. So come alive with your life. This is the time. We are the people. I want to offer you what we can only call a new operating system, a new performance, high performance system that can give you the tools, the insights that can help you transform your life by discovering how to dis- access what I call quantum powers, quantum powers that are available to you. Up to now, you may not have been able to see them because, well, not only because of the limitations surrounding you, but also because you have not been aware that there is a whole new science that has emerged in just the last few years. And one of the things that the implication of this new science is that we now know that reality is very different from the one that we grew up in believing. We now know that we not only live in the universe, but the universe lives in us. It's not just that we're the latest product of the metabolism of the galaxy. It's that we are an entire universe within. And the universe is made up of quantum energies, quantum powers, that when we can align our belief, our consciousness, with these universal patterns, oh, friends, we are gifted with phenomenal possibilities, powers, ways of living. So what will you learn? You will learn how to live in this new (laughs) operating system. You will learn how to activate the inner dimensions that illumine your life and spirit with a light that really can never be extinguished. You will learn how to renew and deepen your unique spiritual knowing and wisdom, how to accelerate exciting new creative capacities for understanding and acting on higher purposes, not just your own, but of the world at this time. You will learn something of the ability to ride the winds of change with flexibility, courage, and exquisite grace and be able to land whenever you wish. You will learn how to identify the essential codes and archetypal patterns and guidance that impact your life. To learn how to shock the future instead of having the future shock you. How to evolve the imagination, become a co-creator in a higher design that is yearning for you many more times than you're yearning for it. And so you will learn to overcome cultural condition, low level of expectation, old habit patterns, and develop strategies that hold you to your higher purpose. And above all, how to work with, co-create with the universe and its quantum powers. Put forth an intention and experience the quickening of its manifestations in ways that up to now may have seemed more miracle than reality. That's so beautiful, Jane. Thank you. And I'm I'm really excited to be talking with you today about these topics, about what's really possible for us and and living a life beyond limitations. Can you share with us a little bit about what we're going to discover in the next hour or so together here? Surely. Well, you have to know that over my many, many years of research into human potential, studying the way people can use much more of their mind, their body, their sensory systems, their their narratives, their spirituality. With all of this, I have naturally uncovered techniques, very little known techniques, that various ancient cultures and indigenous societies uh, have used throughout history. So for the past 10 years, while I've been leading my programs, writing my books, I've been privately experimenting with these new techniques, both on myself and on a number of students. So what I've been doing in my study of these quantum powers is I've been refining them until they've become so remarkably effective that I've decided that it's time to pull back the curtain and reveal these powers to a wider field, to you. Now, some may ask, well, Jean, aren't you worried about them being misused and I would have to say no because these powers that you're going to learn about seem to require 
a quality of inner goodness and intention. Inner goodness, inner positive, creative, compassionate intention in order to be effective. Oh, friends, the fact is, is that the world is more in need than ever of people who have the ability to become creative stewards of humanity's course, to positively make a difference through the use of these remarkable techniques. And I believe, I do believe, that we can make a difference that makes the difference. We can do this together. So today is, is a way to introduce you to these powers and give you some insight into how one's actual perception of the nature of reality, and I don't mean just as an intellectual construct, I mean it's visceral, you know it's true. Your new perception of the nature of reality can bring you to the, a, a level of accomplishment and of making a bigger difference in the world. Mm-hmm. And it means that we have to get rid of our old sense of being limited. We can no longer live as encapsulated bags of skin dragging around a dreary little ego. We have to know that we are the universe. We are the organism environment. And we can no longer operate out of a lesser operating system causing us to be overwhelmed by the sheer busyness of life. We're going to crack that one open (laughs) once and for all and discover that you have access to the quantum powers and it's not that you get rid of your old mind and all that you've learned but your old mind goes to graduate school and you begin to engage powers and live through them every moment we discover that our minds are stargates our bodies are filled of mysteries filled with mysteries that give us keys keys to the emerging phase of our existence Wow, Jane, thank you so much. And as you're speaking, I could really feel the resonance of what you're saying, really speaking to that untapped potential that we all have within us. And I'm also curious about, you know, what has been stopping us until now? You know, why have we been getting stuck in this way? Yes, well, disbelief in themselves, living a half-light version of who and what they really are, caught, caught in an endless cycle of same old, same old, and feeling there is no way out. But at the same time, being feeling a tremendous call to a higher form of life and really not knowing what it is, feeling that they're running out of time to fulfill their dreams or that they do not have any time to launch in new directions. And I think that many of the people listening now feeling frustrated. They just don't want to go on with business as usual. <clears throat> They're made for something larger, deeper, better. And, of course, you always feel that they, they, you always hear that people feel constrained by lack of money, lack of resources, lack of time, especially when something is bubbling inside of them and telling them, you've got a bigger message to get out into the world. But your everyday tasks consume and limit your ability to do what is important. So... In the people that you work with, Jane, what do you see as the, the deepest frustration in what they're experiencing? Partly, I think it has to do with living at the end of one era and not quite at the beginning of a new one. Living in an outmoded situation. But at the same time, longing, longing for the next time, the next place, the next reality. It is as if we are the people of the parenthesis at the end of one era, not at the beginning, not yet there in the new one. But you're being called, you're being lured, you're being evoked, you're being frustrated to the point of really needing to to wake up. What is it that you have to do? What is it that you're being called to do? The dreams are coming thick and fast all over the world. I want you to know that you have the capacity to do what you're being called to do. You have the capacity to leap across and grasp on to the ledge of that new reality. You have the capacity not to waste any more time. So the good news that I have for you is that many of the things, the symptoms, if you will, of all these issues that you have with your life, the big problems, 
your symptoms of the bigger problem that you probably may not even